Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can send MIDI messages from Drumbo to another instance inside the AUM, which will contain a synthesizer and control the cutoff of that synth. Um, it comes uh, very handy, for example, when you want to control uh, parameters of synths which are in other uh, channels as I just mentioned but they could be also external and you can use filter those of course via MIDI channel so <clears throat> let's add the two channel so to audio channel let's select the second audio channel and load Isen from Arturia let's uh, select the first channel and search for uh, uh, the rumble and um, then when Drumble is loaded, let's connect um, Drumble to Isom from Arturia. And for these purposes, I'm not going to filter um, the channel or I could do, for example, if I wanted to, could put that as channel two. Let's leave it as channel two, that's fine. Um, let's go back into the Drumble. Okay, like so. So let's go to trackpad two let's put some notes like so let's put a a midi output and let's select to configure it to uh go up to send on midi channel number two and let's click play okay let's add some variances like that Perfect, let's go back to channel number one now. Let's remove the MIDI to CV, we don't need it. Let's add under modulator a mini LFO. Then let's add under MIDI ACC generator. Then let's add a MIDI output and also a monitor. So the MIDI monitor will show us the event sent, in this case CC, it is connected to and the MIDI CC generator, which is fine. We can see we configure the MIDI output to send on channel number two, like so, and it is connected to the MIDI CC generator, which is fine. We set the MIDI CC to two, and we all can also make it bipolar as impulse, impulse, uh, because it's important because the, the LFO will be producing a sine waves with positive and negative values. Okay, so let's click uh, play. Actually, let's connect the MIDI CC generator to the LFO. Here we go. You can see they're going up and down. Perfect. Now, um, let's minimize this window. Okay, like so. Um, and that's because I want to be able to see it at the same time of the ISM Arturia synth. Uh, let's configure AUM first to redirect the messages to the second channel. So with the going MIDI control, we select as a select um, or set as a MIDI source tremble. We come out from there. We go to ISM number the second instance. We go to the parameter which is here. We scroll down until we find the parameter we want to, like in this case, VCF for frequency. We say it needs to go to channel two. It needs to be a CC of two. Okay. Now let's open ISIM. And as you can see, the cutoff knob is moving. Let's click play. Okay, let's um, um, decrease the speed here on the frequency. As you can see, the cut is moving lower. And you can see also the value moving up slower. Let's play again. You can also influence the amount here. So you can move it down like so. And you can see the knob not moving anymore. And you can, of course, increase it if you wish. 
and uh, the um, the kartoffel will start to move a little bit more. So, as you can see, we can uh, you can control um, the cutoff uh, directly from Drumbo. So in this case, you have um, let me move this down. You have a trackpad which is sending me the uh, CC events, which is effectively doing the modulation on the VCF of ISEM. And then on trackpad two, you have instead uh, um, the track which is playing the notes you need to. Let's play again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and you find you found this useful and um, of course uh, see you next time. Bye.